total times I've been detained by police is currently sitting at 12 times. Yes. Total convictions is zero. So if I can keep it that way, I hope to. Ko te rā rāhiri te maunga, ko manga kahi a te awa, ko ngā pohi tuka iwi, no tamaki makaura a hau, ko haza tuka ingoa. Ah! I almost feel that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Haz, Haza for an extension, uh, and it's, it's Haza, not Haza, or, or Hasa, or, or Haza, just simply Haza. So I went out tagging with my brother and I didn't actually have a tag at the time but he had multiple tags and one of his tags was has. So I asked if I could write it and he said no. And I said what if I gave you five bucks. So that's when has was born. Yeah in regards to people that inspire me like yeah I think my dad's definitely at the top of the list. So he was a canvas painter, an acrylic borderline oil painter. Like his art was all around the house so I kind of grew up like sort of aspiring to be like him and paint like him. Like I remember being a little kid, six years old, in class drawing Conan and half naked ladies. My teachers were like not impressed with that. I guess as a kid, I just wandered a lot. Like I was always kind of a lonesome kid. Not because I was a loner, I just enjoyed being alone. I always sort of wandered into like a lot of these spots that I wasn't supposed to go. So this is even before I started painting graffiti. And I guess that mentality's just been the same. So I enjoy finding places that haven't been found or going places that have been found and finding that someone's left something there and, and I can add to that. I enjoyed the mission part of graffiti. So that's why I enjoy going out at night and kind of being a little bit more, more low key and whatnot. Having a plan going there and successfully pulling it off. To be specific, I think redundant walls, walls in the middle of nowhere, adding something to it and leaving it there for someone else to find. If that wall is also situated in the middle of a rainforest, even better. Somewhere like New Zealand, I love a good rural spot because you know our shit's clean as fuck. But when you go somewhere that's like an, a full urban jungle, then it is cool to stumble across like old buildings or old architecture. I don't know, I enjoy painting freight trains, mostly because they're, like, they're just these big things that kind of move from one place to another. I don't know, I, just, I like painting big and I like applying paint to a wall. Anything with a clean surface, it's open to your interpretation. So there have been instances where I've written my own name and boosted my own ego. Or sometimes I'll leave like a, a famous um, musician quote or a famous quote throughout history. Or maybe I'll just do something random. So my process for, for painting graffiti is generally pick a bunch of colours. If I can help it, I'll pick some that might work, but I suck at that. So I kind of just grab like a big mix of colours and, and hope for the best, turn up at a wall, usually without a plan. I'm envious of anyone else that can sort of turn up to a wall with a plan. Um, unfortunately, I'm not wired that way. So I usually just freestyle, hope that I'll paint something good. And then once I've finished the wall, I usually try and document it and then archive it. Might show it, might not. When it comes to graffiti, it's like I've dabbled in everything and graffiti's like the only thing I come back to. For me, like the biggest achievements I've made is the fact that I'm still painting and just being a part of two dark graffiti collectives, which is like Team D and the D-Back crew. The funny thing is one of my crews that I'm actually being officially labelled by the police as gangs. I think they just see what we do as like organised crime. I think it's healthy for people to get together and paint. So whether that's travelling or just like waking up on in the weekend and like just going to go jam a piece with the bros, and like that's the lifestyle that resonates with me. Some people enjoy going to get a cold one with their mates. I enjoy going out in the cold to paint one with, with my mates. For me, that's how I socialize. I enjoy it when people see what I've done. And I think that's like why I resonated so well with graffiti, because it's the perfect platform for that. I've been tagging and painting since I was 10 years old, so 18 years. So it's just given me pretty much like my life. And it's sort of given me the credentials to, to travel around the world and pretty much just do anything that I want. I think society needs a little bit of imperfection. Auckland's a perfect example of how shit a city can be if you paint it grey. 
So when you when you throw graffiti in the mix, it kind of it just brings it back to life and makes it feel like you're not living in some sterile city. 